weird combination. He's the kind of guy who every time you turn around has exactly what you need. Knife, beer, length of chain, blanket, uncanny. Kind of creepy, actually. So Avas trusts this guy? Avas is no fool. He knows how dangerous Vasilisk is, but he is very useful. Became Avas' right-hand man, despite Vasilisk's little hobby. This just keeps getting better and better. Yeah. He'd throw his enemies in a pit and then cover them in cement. Oh, thanks. I'm so looking forward to meeting this maniac. The bookie can tell you where to find Vasilisk. He's got a lowdown on everything going on at the quarry, but the bookie would sell out his grandmother if the price was right. Don't trust him. Don't trust anyone in that godforsaken sinkhole. Hope at least the booze is good. Out. Avas's life is on the line. If you raise an alarm, Basilisk may panic and kill him. Looking for the man at the top, the very top. I'm running a business here. You want my time? You got a bet just like everyone else. Yeah, fine. You're lucky I'm not in the mood to make a scene yet. It's your lucky day, good buddy. Step right here. I've played your little game, now talk. Where can I find Abbas? He likes to keep a close eye on the business, you know? Where is Abbas? Well, I honestly have no idea. You like betting, huh? Let's bet on how many punches I give you before you have permanent brain damage. Wait, what? You're a big guy. I'm thinking between 30 and 40. Okay, talk with Madame Ruth. She runs the brothel and she knows everything about everyone. Tell her I sent you and she won't be afraid to talk. Good. Kicks 
So, how about we go somewhere more quiet? You feel a bit lonely, monsieur. I know what ails you, and I have the perfect remedy. You need a woman. Or two. Take your pick. I'm not interested in that. Bookie told me that you can help me. I'm looking for Avas. Honey, I'll tell you what. I'll set up a meeting with a friend who might know something. In the meantime, why don't you take a break? Relax. Thank you, ma'am, but... You know you want it. There's a bed upstairs. Very, very comfy. Find some company and enjoy yourself for a few hours. Where is Avas? There's someone who will know where Avas is. His right hand in business. I'm listening. My girls had a man, known as Vasilisk. He has been talking with some of the boys at the barracks about how old Avas is and ill-suited to lead the business right now. It's not enough. Maybe he knows something about Avas. It's over, Vasilisk. Let the old man go. I agree with the American. I really think you should listen Shut to- Shut up. Okay. Mr. North, how lucky for us to meet again. Drop the weapon. <sighs> you must be fucking kidding. It was worth a try. It seems you have me in a bit of a spot. So, how about we play a little game? Fuck your games. Jonathan, you don't get it. I'm in control. Now, there are three of us, and three rounds in this pistol. If the old man dies, you get to ask me all about Robert North. If you die, the old man walks. And you? I'll be dead. Of course, you could shoot me now and save the old man. But deep down, you want to know about your brother. Don't you? Exactly. Shall we begin? One. Congratulations, old man. You live to annoy another day. Two. That's twice now, Mr. North. Don't you think your luck has to run out sometime? I'm sorry, but you don't get to play. Three. Grandpa, are you all right? Grandfather? Yes, my dear, yes. I am well. This is your grandfather? Yes. This old bastard is all I have. I mean your dead friend. Anything I can do? Name your price. I need to know everything about Vasilisk and the people he's working with. Well, seeing as I am no longer in immediate danger, I'll be only too happy to help. But... Let's get out of here first. I haven't been outside for days.
down, everyone. Come down. This man saved my life. Avas has plenty of questions for Basilisk supporters and intel that will be very useful to us about the coup. But his agenda isn't our agenda. Yeah, well, we're not working for fucking Mossad. Even though our interrogation methods are far superior to yours, even though you weren't fucking born in this region, don't know all the players or the dead personal history here, save your goddamn superiority for. Easy now. Lydia, you lead. Let Raquel jump in with an assist from time to time. Thanks, John. But let's please keep the assistance to a minimum. Oh, what? You'll break my spine like you did your commanding officer? Accidents happen. Don't fuck up my chance to dig up the intel of Robert. Got it? She's got it. Right, Raquel? Anything you say, John. Out. Got a guardian angel mission for you. Great. Use a change of pace. Who am I covering? JSOC agent, operating in the area for undisclosed reasons. He's not going to fuck us up, is he? Nah. He's infiltrating a mining facility to gather intel. Kid's a big green. First solo mission. Could use some backup. Yeah, we've all been there. Yeah. Sometimes seems like a hundred years ago. Maybe to you, old timer. It's like I'm just getting started. <laughs> you keep telling yourself that, John. Just give the kid a protective shield if he needs one. Get there. Find a proper nest, and keep him alive until he's finished. Out. Roger. The mine has an interesting history, John. It was built by the Soviets. Officially, as a coal facility. But off the books, it was what? According to CIA reports, Soviets found uranium deposits, mined them in secret. Uranium was pretty much depleted by the time Georgia became an independent state. The economics just weren't profitable on a commercial scale, so they closed it. Yeah, it looks like it's deteriorated ever since. Ready when you are. Do not engage. Wait 
for my marks and watch my position. I'll take care of this first guy. Watch my back. That was easy. I'm moving forward. Take the guy up top. Roger. Downloading data. You better hurry up, pal. Okay, I have the data. I'm out of here. How important? Sorry, John. Damn. Robert is as elusive as that Armazi guy. I think we would have heard if Robert was dead. For now, he and Armazi, if he exists, are in the wind. Any good news? Absolutely. Your little tanker explosion is crippled transportation of some key chemical components. Cisterns are nowhere near their destination. Cause major instability in separatist operations. We know what the cisterns are transporting? Jesus, Raquel. Are you fucking everywhere? Everywhere I need to be. I managed to slip around Lydia. And thank God I did. Interrogation of a few criminal conspirators led me to intel about where Vasilisk smuggled the high-tech weapons. 
Which is where? I am missing two words here. Thank you. Quite right. The weapons are headed to an old abandoned military base in the mountains. Soviet era. Vasilisk calls it his lair. You really should put more faith in me, John. Out. This is Big John. Go to the old Soviet base called the Lair. I think it's the location with all the answers. Robert? All clues point in that direction. It's the headquarters for Amazi and his crew. If Amazi doesn't have Robert, he knows who does. No one would hold back answers from a friend like Armazi. So we're close. So close, I can smell the gun oil. I'm tired, Frank. One last big push, right? There's a ton of high-tech gear that's been shipped in there. Find it, John. And find Robert. One way or another. God bless. Inside. It's just a bunch of soldiers, Frank. There's nothing here. I'm not convinced. Not yet. Listen, there's a series of tunnels connecting the different buildings. I think you... Yeah, fine. I'll check out the tunnels, Frank. Good man. Keep me posted.
in the area. Start talking. They're stationed here. I found something. Two men wearing similar gear to the helmet I found after the Kazori wedding. That's a start. We need something more concrete. See if you can find a way to swipe some footage from their CCTV system.
Contact, I need backup. Okay, I got the video. Get out of there before they find you. Ah, the tunnel gates just closed right in front of my eyes. Shit. They must know you're there. Any suggestions? A tunnel network like this must have some sort of ventilation system. Maybe you can use that. Worth a shot. Armazi has an offer. On your knees, North. Down, boy. <laughs> Not a popular decision. I prefer to shoot you now. Your brother is dead. When? How? I killed him. But he was ready to go, John. Happy to go. Torture! You son of a... 
you believe in resurrection, John? What the fuck? You monster! You're a believer, aren't you? That's what I offer. Resurrection? Yeah. You're insane. I am Armazi. Fuck! I really thought... Thank God! Robert! Come. I can explain everything. Your ears only. Turn off your earpiece. Beautiful, isn't it? You were right, John. I was bitter and lonely. I didn't believe in anything. I had nothing but doubts. Questions and doubts. Now, I have certainty. Absolute certainty. What did they fucking do to you? They showed me the future, brother. And I want you to join me. 23 Society is everywhere in your precious church, in your beloved Marine Corps. Right. This legendary covert international death machine is going to change the world. Oh, John. First they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you, and then you win. You may fight us, but we will win. You're quoting fucking Gandhi to justify murdering children and drowning their parents in rivers of blood? You're a goddamn terrorist! I am one ghost warrior among many. If only the strong survive, we show the people their strength. What the fuck, Robert? It all sounds incredible, I know. When I was captured, I fought them hard. But no matter how many times I tried to escape, it was as if they could read my mind. And then, then they showed me something. Just hear me out. Special scientific enhancement, cutting edge, unbelievable stuff. That helmet I shot out of your hands? If you held up a donut, I could have shot clean through the middle hole. Yeah, sorry, pal, but no one is that good. You see that hawk up there? No. That's why I was willing to let Robert die in order to be raised up as our mozzie. They will enhance your body and mind until you can do any. We gotta go, boss. Let us raise you up to resurrection as one of us, John. Boss, we gotta go now. Come with me. Believe. Now, Bird is leaving. What did they do to you? What crazy shit did they do? I love you, brother. I thought it'll kill me. You did good. He looked me in the eyes. You did what you had to. That's how it works. You just pull this damn trigger. You kill or you get killed. That boy I beat up? He said you die up there. 
that you'll come back in a coffin like the soldiers on the news. I'll come back. Living and breathing, I promise. A war in Afghanistan is not enough to break apart the North, brothers. You hear me, Rob? I will always be there for you.